Okay, the case statement. A case statement is similar to a nested if, but I think it is a little bit shorter. And if you know how to do it, it can save you a bit of time. Okay, in this program, I'm going to enter a mark like 70% or 80% into your edit box. Then when I click on the button, I want to convert that to a symbol. 85 will be A, 77 will be like a B. Um, you can try to do this with if statements. Then you say if I mark is bigger than 79 and I mark is smaller than 101, display A. Else if, if it's bigger than 69 and smaller than 80, then you can display the symbol B. Okay, so you can continue with that with uh, if statements, but I think it will be easier if we do do it with a case. Okay. So I'm going to test I mark. So I'm going to say in case I mark is let's say between 80 and 100. So if it's between 80 and 100, what should happen? Then I want to display the symbol A in my label 2. So if it's between 70 and 79, I want to display a B. This one can be as for C, D, E. Let's just change this. A, B, C, D, and E. And you can also add an else. Else, if it's not one of the above, you can make it a symbol F. Five should be A seventy six B. Uh, let's make it forty eight will be E, and if the guy only got twenty percent, it will be a F. Okay, like I said, you can use the if statement, but maybe if you want to use a case statement, it's a little bit easier to save you time. Uh, just remember, you can only use ordinal data types with a case statement. That means stuff like characters, integers, and booleans. You will not be able to use a string data type or a string variable in your case statement.